like, oh my God, I didn't <laughs> know that. Okay, so Kathy, you've come to uh, Birds of Prey by way of dead pigs, mm -hmm. right? Um, which I've tried to see. <laughs> I've searched every platform, but it's not available here. But no. I hear it's a wonderful movie. Thank and you. It, it really caused a bang. In <laughs> so uh, what, uh, what did you feel like when after the success of Birds of, of Dead Pigs, you were asked to do Birds of Prey, which is on a very different scale and uh, a very different setting, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, it was, it was so exciting and super humbling um, and totally nerve-wracking. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I try to just, you know, stick to to the craft and filmmaking. And, um, you know, when you're on set as a director, it actually doesn't feel that different um, because you're just, you're just in, you're just in it. You're speaking to your actors, you're speaking to your AD, your cinematographer, um, your department heads, um, and prep, you know, prep was very similar too in that way of just, you know, focusing on the movie. Um, and it was just such an honor to be able to work with like the cast, this incredible cast, my, the amazing department heads. Um, like they just taught me so much this whole process. And so uh, it's definitely, it was definitely intimidating, but you sort of learn on the job um, as you have to, I think. Well, a project like this has a lot of moving parts. Yes. Um, did you get into step with it? Um, very quickly, or uh, was it intimidating, you know, at first? Special effects and green screen and... Uh... Yeah, well, I'd never really done action before, and I didn't really... Um, I had very little VFX in Dead Pigs, and so that was interesting. I have a whole, you know, two new departments to work with. Um, but I had such great help and support from um, the crew in that regard that, like, it really... I think it was more intimidating for me personally, but like, you know, it, it was it, it it didn't cause any problems on set, you know, and I think that in some ways, um, hopefully I was able to bring a, a unique and new perspective to, to the way things are done. Which is yeah. something um, kind of new in the DC universe, mm -hmm. isn't it? Uh, they had tended to stick with uh, uh, Tour and Tried uh, mm -hmm. for me, because people they knew they were mm -hmm. in the business and now they are scouting for talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? It, it, it? And there are very few female uh, uh, movie makers yeah. in the position to uh, get that sort of assignment, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you think you've brought uh, something different, a cross-cultural uh, look to this project maybe? I, you know, I mean, from yeah. Princeton to Shanghai <laughs> to the Wall Street Journal <laughs> to Birds of Prey, that's a very varied experience. Oh, thank you. I'm sure it 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 it, it manifests itself in in the work, no matter what happens. I think. Um, you know, I think I, I tend to think of every film that I do as a very personal expression, even if it's not an autobiography in any way. Um, and I think a lot of directors do too, because you just have to relate to the material on such a profound level. And so much of directing is honestly just um, get being in touch with your instincts and, and and your taste, and then being able to you know communicate that to to everyone, to the others, and um, working with people in that way. So I, I think so. I, I think that there was, a, there was just a lot of me in the movie, um, which Great. I'm very proud of. <laughs> um, and you know, I think it's a very multicultural cast. Our screenwriter is also very multicultural herself, which is part of the reason that we got along very well. Margot is actually is very multicultural. So I think both behind the scenes, um, or behind the camera, in front of the camera, we just were able to bring all these different influences to the movie and I think um, and the movie's better because of that yeah which is the makeup of any modern society exactly so exactly and since it has such an international appeal or a must for a movie of this size I, I hope that everyone can really relate to it in that way yeah I'm dying to see it <laughs> okay thank you so much thank you very much <laughs> Kathy it was a pleasure to meet you thank you Okay, ladies, so this is officially the first female ensemble superhero movie. I'm not even sure it's grammatical, to put it like that. But uh, uh, what are your expectations in terms of how this project is going to not only be received, but, um, you know, blaze a trail, maybe? Mm. Well, if there's any indication from last night, 
Uh, we have that's that's pretty good because yeah. <laughs> the crowd at the uh, Comic Con here in Brazil was ecstatic. Yeah, I think it's clear from last night that there are people who really want to see this story and yeah. they, they want these characters to be seen on screen and, and they want you know to be represented in that way and so yeah. I think at least we know that there's this, this is a movie for somebody you know there's yeah, people that yeah. want this movie and that's such a great feeling. Well what's wonderful is uh, that's what mod the modern world look like looks yeah. like isn't it mm -hmm. it's um, no a no gender age or ethnicity barriers so that's a cross cut of what yeah. we look like. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's what we we've talked a lot about that throughout the process is you know, one of the visions for the film, um, especially for Kathy, our director, was to see the world reflected, you know, and for it to feel inclusive, for it to not be limited to a certain gender or age or ethnicity. And she did a really good job in, in trying to include the world in Gotham, you know. I, I met Kathy today and she's absolutely lovely. Yeah. She seems to have a lot of energy, but she comes from a different type of filmmaking. And uh, uh, so this is a new experience for everybody and you're having it at the same time. What was it like working with her coming from a movie like Dead Bigs? onto Birds of Prey. Well, she certainly didn't seem new uh, yes, by any yeah. means. She was incredibly <laughs> poised and knew exactly what she wanted. Mm -hmm. um, she seemed like she'd been doing this her whole life mm -hmm. to me. I mean, I mean, there was nothing sort of green about mm -hmm. her whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. really, she was so confident. And I think that's, it's so easy to trust someone when they're that confident on set. You just mm -hmm. know that they know what it is they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And like, like Journey said, she was building this, this world that was so colorful and real and, and fantastic and, and so representative of what we all wanted to be a part of, I think. Well, uh, Harley obviously has uh, mental problems. And uh, <laughs> that's putting it lightly. You're so kind and polite. <laughs> And uh, what about you ladies, your characters? Um, do you give in to her kind of crazy? Or uh, what is the report between the, the, the characters? It seems a big year for superheroes and, uh, and mental problems, mental really. Problems. Mental problems. problems. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all have them? I, mean, I, I think, I think um, well, I can speak for Renee Montoya. I, I, I think that she, you know, she has uh, mental illness issues in regards to, um, you know, um, high anxiety, uh, you know, uh, for how she's been treated over the years, uh, how she's been easily dismissed and questioned, second guessed mm -hmm. continually and been outed. Um, so I think that she, she, has, she has issues as well. So, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's yeah. great to explore it. But journey is right, don't we all have them? We like all do, do to some degree. I yeah. think in the film, there's so many themes we explore, but one thing that's so great is you, you just see flawed characters. I mean, no one in this film is, is the hero, heroine, perfect person, which I think for us was really refreshing to play these women who are flawed and fucked up and struggling and insecure and riddled with doubt. I mean, we can see ourselves in that and um, you know they're certainly not taking time to give themselves a lot of self-care right they? right no absolutely not yeah Huntress has rage issues that's something that comes up a lot in the film and in ways both comedic and not so comedic <laughs> Those are her main. she's dealing with some major rage um, throughout the course of the film we get to see her, her battle with that uh, I, I I'm going to love to see that on screen <laughs> really, <because laughs> well thank you so much it's really a pleasure meeting all of you and uh, I know you're going away today you're leaving yes. today mm -hmm. but I hope you have had a good experience here yes it's been amazing it's been a wonderful it's good it's mind blowing and uh, uh, and Rosie, I have to tell you this, that uh, you know the beginning of Do the Right Thing, it's <sighs> one of the things I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life, really. Oh, thank so you, you so much. Listen, <laughs> White Men Can't <laughs> Jump was it's, one of my favorite wow. movies growing up. Oh, it's right really thing. one of those moments in movies. Mm. So thank you. It's thank really you. an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very exciting to meet yeah. the both of you. That's really, really nice. 
Uh, had you ever been to Brazil before, either of you? No. I had. You when had. I was 18, I was here. I was in Rio, not Sao Paulo, but I had so much fun. I had too much fun in Brazil. Um, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's a risk you run. Yeah. Really. You've been everywhere, haven't you? I've uh, traveled a lot. I'm very yes. lucky. I'm very lucky. I've done a lot of backpacking with friends. I've um, And then with my job, obviously, get to see the world in a way that I never thought I could. So. Uh, were you surprised uh, when, uh, well, I think it was in the works really from the beginning that Harley Quinn would have her own uh, very special movie? I, I, I actually started fighting for this four years ago and we were still making Suicide Squad and, um, and we went to Comic-Con halfway through shooting and I could not believe how many people were dressed as Harley. I couldn't believe it. I, I had no idea there was that level of fandom and the movie hadn't come out yet and I thought oh I think I think Harley Quinn could do more I think there's an appetite for more Harley Quinn but what I want to see is a female ensemble action film because right I loved the Charlie's Angels like Cameron Diaz Lucy Liu Drew Barrymore Charlie's Angels films so much but since then I was like why hasn't there been another female ensemble action film um and so I wanted to both pitch that idea and also have another opportunity to show more of Harley's personality. I thought people might be keen for that. But I really, I was like, look, I love what Suicide Squad's done for me. I love that through that film I've got to play a bigger role in the universe. But I want that to be the case for heaps of other female DC characters because there are so many that aren't being utilised at this time. And I thought The Birds of Prey was a good opportunity to for that because in the comics so many different characters coming in and out of the birds of prey so well characters of all ages mm -hmm. backgrounds mm -hmm. it's a very multi multicultural uh, exactly cast isn't it exactly. i met kathy and she's absolutely wonderful yeah. lovely and uh, um, all ages which is also mm -hmm. uh, a, a different uh, take on the on the superhero universe isn't it totally totally right. no that was hugely important we we Knew when we were setting out, that was um, something we wanted. We wanted to diversify what people see on screen, both in gender, ethnicity, and age. Um, Ella, was it, what was it like to join? You know that cast. You are a relative newcomer to, yes. to acting, and uh, well, lots it, of. It kind of felt like superstar boot camp because I had <laughs> a mentor next to me every day someone to tell me, oh yeah, you can do this exercise to help you with your lines, or we can do a fun thing together. Um, and it was it was so inspirational. Not only was it um, f like an all-female cast, but it was also super diverse and super inspiring. Just looking at it makes me like tear up, it's crazy. And Margot, as an inspiration and, and a mentor in the movie and in real life is, I, I couldn't ask for more. Don't. You've got it all. <laughs> no, uh, Ella, uh, the, I've seen very little of the movie. We have all seen very little. But you seem to be a nace in comedic timing. So uh, were you born with that? Uh, um, <laughs> maybe. Well, yeah, I guess. It's it's one of my skills. <laughs> she has That's many beautiful. skills. She can do so many things. Like her character, Ella is full of surprises. <laughs> I can't wait to see it, yeah. really. It's been a pleasure meeting the both of you, and uh, um, I can't wait for February to see what turned out. Yeah, great. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you.